Paganini in your area. So you are now reacting to the four member girl group Blackpink and their title track Shut Down off of their 2022 Born Pink album. Erica Gonzalez from Elle writes, loaded with confident lyrics and high energy, the song lives up to its title. Throughout the track, the girls take turns telling their haters and doubters to take a seat. <laughs> Praying for my, sorry. <laughs> Praying for my downfall, many have tried, bebe. They sing in one line. When we pull up, you know it's a shutdown. The song is composed by Teddy and 24. And I know you guys are jazz musicians, but how good is your solo violin repertoire knowledge? Like, okay. Actually, I was okay. bumping the Brahms today. I know concertos really well. If it's like pretty popular, we should know it. Someday, Liam, there's gonna be a K-pop video, and it's gonna it's gonna sample from. It's gonna sample like Con. Corgi or some shit. <laughs> Con variations. Oh uh, no! I God! I hope to. Mirage. You know. I hope we never get to that. Before we get into today's reaction, a huge thanks to our sponsor, Fashion Chingu. Fashion Chingu is an online store that recreates K-pop and K-drama clothes on a budget. They have a variety of clothing collections from BTS to Blackpink, Espa, IU, Girls' Generation, Stray Kids, items of clothes that the idols wear themselves in their everyday life to photo shoots and even stage performances, but at a much lower cost. The quality of the clothes from Fashion Chingu are still great. Look at how in love Jason is with his shirt that BTS Taehyung wore. Wearing affordable clothes that your vice has also worn, you can be this happy too. So it is time to treat yourself and with an over $60 order, you get worldwide free shipping. Check out the link in our description to go to Fashion Chingu's website and use our discount code REACTTHEK10 at checkout for 10% off your order. Now that we're all fast fashionably styled up, let's get back to the reaction. So without spoiling the name of what piece is maybe or maybe not played in this song, uh, the violinist on the piece who recorded it is named E.H. King, and she went to Berklee College of Music. Three, two, one. That's a violin. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Paganini in your area! It's a, like, a like campanella. I don't yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh. I like the sub bass. This is a wrong key though, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the original's in B minor, I think. This is a B flat. For a hip hop standpoint, I think their use of the expert is excerpt, is expert. Yes. Uh, this is a very in one type of thing, yeah. Arpeggiating chords, pizzicato all in the back. I really dig it, honestly. I'm such a slut for 6'8". Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> They're not even using like the cool part of it. They're kind of like <laughs> chopping the sample up in like a kind of a weird spot. Yeah, the production's really clean. It's really well balanced, really well done. Oh, there they used the... They, they finished at that time. It definitely slaps. I will say that it definitely does slap. This beat hit. It's like really playful. Yeah. Her voice is interesting. I like it actually a lot. <laughs> Campanelli? Is that something in Korean that sounds a lot like campanella? I sort of like how the string like slides into the pitch that makes it even more playful. The bass? No, 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 the, the Paganini thing. 
What's this instrument? Is that a synth? Hey, I like a different chord. <laughs> hey. The bass is kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like the ambient vocals at the end there. I fucked with it. Do you recognize this piece? I No, I have no idea what this is. It's La Campanella. First of all, it's in the wrong key. That's like the beginning of the violin version. This is... And then it just keeps repeating, I think. <laughs> Finally at the end of I'm torn as always because it's a gimmick, but they did it pretty good. I think that it's really cool that we're seeing like classical music sampling, but when you're doing it in such small clips like this, I feel like it doesn't do like justice to the pieces, if that makes sense. I'm not like offended by this or anything, but just like thinking about it in that way, you know, like Feel My Rhythm, for example, they actually like use a, a much larger amount of the piece. I think the philosophies of like how to use the melody are like Polar opposites. Feel My Rhythm is like, let's make a wall of sound and just have the Bach in there and just, yeah, big world and it's not, not everyone's gonna like it, but we're gonna do it. Like this is like, not even like a phrase, it's like a sentence of, you know what I mean? Like it's like, not even. Not it's like even a fragment. A it's a it's, fragment it's, of a sentence. Yeah, it's like it's a fragment of a sentence of an entire piece. They didn't use the entire piece and, and feel feel my rhythm, but they used like a good amount of it. They pulled from a lot of different sections, and so they they were able to utilize the harmony that Bach already made, and then like layer on top of, top of that and add chords and add notes, and that was more interesting, I think. And I think it like worked a little bit better. I feel like in this context, the sample like Just confines what can happen <laughs> because it was so it. small. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, like they can only do so much with just that. This is very sleek. We keep the violin like audible and then we make all the other instruments like close to the low frequencies. It almost keeps the Paganini vibe. I do think it's a very tasteful use of it in like a hip hop point of view. Cause ever since sampling began, like people did sample classical music and hip hop is no stranger to like using the same thing every bar and that repetition is like the perfect vehicle for, it's like, oh, it stands out enough, but it does not get in the way of the, of the rappers doing their thing, spitting their flow or whatever. This is something that is annoying sometimes with people who analyze music, is that what is the purpose of this? Like, what is this meant to do? This isn't meant to be incredibly like thought provoking and complex and intense and this and that. It's meant to be exactly what it is. It's hype, it gets you, it's catchy. That's not easy to do, to make something catchy and work like that. There's a pop artist out there today that said, it's sometimes easier to be really intricate in music and speak to a small crowd than it is to be large and speak to a, like a, millions of people because you can play Brahms with perfect phrasing and a very small amount of people will go oh I saw that and then millions of people will be like what but to be able to kind of connect and, and make people whistle or make people think of something or give people something to listen to where it's like oh fuck all you guys I want to shut y'all down because you're putting me down people can see themselves through it and mirror themselves in it it's also intricate to speak to a giant audience. It may not seem so analytically in the style of this is meant for pop, this is meant for hype, this is meant for a kind of rap pop song. It did what it was supposed to do, it was good. Where does that come in the violin repertoire? Like what level do you have to be, do you have to? Oh, like that's the easiest part of the whole thing. <laughs> um, I've never played it. Okay, wait, but you were able to just like play it immediately, but you've never played it? Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like, yeah. <laughs> Again, it's the easiest part. I can't do any of the other shit after that. Why this part of the piece? Why this piece? It's catchy. It's well known. It's nice, a little sinister. It's a little macabre. It's virtuosic too. Yeah. It's not here, but it has an 
iconic violin type quality to it. Like you almost hear the bow, the bowing going on, like the up bow, down bow, yeah. Definitely. And they did record it so that it actually, it still kept a violin timbre, mm. even though it was like, still poppy that was nice it was like actually a really good blend between i think the blend is the best part the yeah. classical sound and also pop instrumental sound there's something about like how like devilishly like hard the the show piece is and like the darker aesthetic of the song that kind of works this matches the tone of the song that they were trying to make since i'm not hearing it i can appreciate it <laughs> But then when you were listening to it, you're like, this is such a gimmick, this is such a gimmick. No, I mean, it just like fucking completely caught me off guard. I mean, I think the lifts so up, 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 ba, da, 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 gave the sense of like, oh, we're kind of badass. It gave a really like flippant demeanor. Like, yes, yes. Well, it is a very vocal line. That kind of rhythm as well. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, ba, dum. It's got like um, a pompous attitude to it that's royal in a sense. It had like a lilt to it because 6-8 is like one and the and the one and the and the. So it was kind of teasing, kind of. You know, it's kind of digging in at you. Right? And you also talked about this being able to yes, be conducted it's in very one. very like. Mm, 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 mm. Which, one, when you're in one, when it's something that's intense, it can like stab you. Mm. You see conductors and their whole body will shake when they're doing one. And that's what this game across. The bass also helped a lot, which is like, boom, like just really booming out. It was good. I really liked the Paganini violin ostinato. I, they kind of turned it into an ostinato because it was like the whole time they just repeated the same like two bars or. Yeah. I liked that. And I wonder if they did it on purpose in the sense that Paganini was very good, obviously, but everybody, nobody really liked him that much. Everybody thought he was the devil. They were like, this, this dude's weird. But since he played so well, they were like, okay, we're still gonna go. And I wonder if this is, since this is kind of their reaction to their haters, I wonder if they did that on purpose. If they're like, yeah, even if you hate us, you still can't deny that we, we are popular and we are the moment. <laughs> we are the moment. We're we the, the icons, moment. we're the legends, we're the moment. No, that's so true. You can that call us whatever good. you want, but you're gonna be sitting on our concert just like you were yeah. sitting at Paganini's concert. That's so good. I got chills. Look at that brain. Look at that brain. Look at that brain. <laughs> brain. Did you wish that they went to more areas from the original piece? The first thing I would change is definitely just like length and the, the phrase. It's pretty stagnant. Harmonically, it's just one, one to five. five and it's just like two bar phrase the entire time it doesn't even change on the pre-chord or like the bridge so at least like the it's like that's the whole phrase in the original piece mm -hmm. but instead they just use the first half and then they loop the first half and then they loop the first yeah. half right mm -hmm. like i bet musical theorists would be like oh, <laughs> yeah, i no. know right? <laughs> no why did they just use that one sample <laughs> That's my only thing. Is like it's just like the, the first two bars on a loop. Over <laughs> and like, over again. I oh like... man, just go anywhere else. I would have loved a bridge where they played the major third, went to the four, like they do. Yeah, in the original it does that. Um, but like, if you were to do like a full, could you do a ba 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 and then actually like draw out that chord? Yeah, 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 and then you can like sit on that chord for like... I don't... Like they could do a little bit playing with that chord and then play around that yeah, chord it wouldn't a little be, bit. It wouldn't be something that Blackpink, yeah, this, this they could totally do it. is definitely in Blackpink's wheelhouse. Yeah, they could totally do as as a bridge, as mm -hmm. something to, to separate from the, the simple minor. It's pretty like strongly in that rhythmic framework too. They don't really like put any duple figures over yeah, the, there's the much, compound there's meter much or creation happening. Really. Yeah, it's it's really like the the main rhythmic motive was just that that you get from the digga digga da digga digga da da like that like from the ending from of the, the credential thing. Yeah, the the credential thing at the end of the sample that they use so like vocally a lot of what they do in the verses is kind of built around that like that kind of thing so it does kind of it, it keeps it moving along i think in terms of the beat 
like the main element of intrigue of the beat is the violin and everything else is pretty secondary. There's nothing particularly fancy going on in the drums, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it's drawing attention to the character of the, the sample. Which is a level of restraint I feel like we don't really see. We don't mm -hmm. typically see that. Yeah. <laughs> Because um, right. they have their singular element that, well, and of course, the voices, because that's you know, yeah. what they're highlighting. But they're not subverting it every five seconds. And then when it comes to production, what are your thoughts? I really like the voice mixing, actually. It was just very clear. It, like, sounded very full. Everything is so clear. And then the high end, like, the high frequency is really, really crisp, but not, like, just piercing your ears too like like i heard some of the trap beats that just like the the rolling hi-hats is just really annoying because it's too high and it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah but not this one like the the high end just sounds really beautiful also the violin is so well recorded with all the other elements and then the violin still stands out really awesome sounds like a real violin is playing in front of me do you know how they do that? No, <laughs> if I do, like, I'll be working with them. Why do you think they chose this specific pani pa panini? <laughs> panini. Paganini. Paganini. I'm going to call him Panini from now on. No!